You don't forget this movie. I've seen it three or four times. I'm a big fan. The Mist. The thing is, you I, are in I, the situation where all the spiders are coming at you, and you have that gun. Mm -hmm. Do you continue to try and fight them off in vain, or do you just end it instead of dying at the hands of the spiders? Um, I run first and abandon all of those other schmucks. You're cornered. Um, There's nothing you can do. The oh, spiders are surrounded. Oh, I eat the bullet. You eat the bullet? Okay, oh, yeah. The bullet. Oh, yeah. No question. No question. I'd be like, glad I saved the hollow point for me. Yeah. <laughs> Been shooting watt cutters at these spiders all day, but oh, trusty Corbon here. He's I try to like myself in a direction that it might hit one of them afterward. You know, sure, like, just sure. Just that, that, that's like high that. level suicide right there. You're the you're the John Wick of shooting yourself. Yeah. Like. <laughs> but, he had four kills after dying. Pretty collateral. Cool. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think that'll work. And we're live. I Esther. think I got bit by a recluse spider last year. I uh, really, yeah, Come on, that would have been awful. It would have. It did, did you did you get necrosis? Did, did was that didn't stop without medical attention because that's what happens. So it wasn't uh, gigantic like I see on the internet. You know, like these the holes that are the size of your face yeah. or anything like that. It was on my shin, and uh, at first it looked like a pimple, kind of. You know, but it kind of became like a crater and uh, mm. I did go to the doctor. Of course I was, I was, I went to the doctor for a physical and I showed it to him at the time and they thought maybe it was a tick borne infection of some sort. Oh. And it just took a long time, like three months to fully go away. And yeah. um, we have People recluse spiders in this area. And I, I think maybe I just had a, like, you know, not your classic giant problems, but that's what I think it was. Yeah. The brown how, did, recluse... how did you know it was one? He's uh, saying because there, because there was a crater where the oh, thing was. Okay. And, and the I'm slow sure healing. And... I didn't know that was the only spider that did that. Okay. So the brown recluse causes um, necrosis. The It's it's sort of flesh eating and it's uh, with, with its bite. And it's not one of those things where it's like, ah, oh, now I have a tiny crater. Let me just clean that up. It continues until it is treated professionally. And so um, there's the well-known story, um, especially down here in the South where we have these spiders, of the guy who got bitten on the dick he sat on the toilet spider bit him on his crotch and he was embarrassed as some are want to be about going to the doctor about a bite on his dick and he lost the penis what he lost the penis yes wow i'm uh this isn't fun I, i'm looking <laughs> up brown recluse spider bites and i just found one from STL today. Extreme case of brown recluse spiders drive owners from home. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's the Midwest and parts of the South that have a ton of these fuckers. And it said here, this is a UCR spider research. Let me link this for you. It's going to have a lot of helpful tips for you. Oh, Woody. what a fun group of guys. If if you look up recluse bite, the spider research, I, I, the, the most mild here, I'll, I'll link you guys. Not that you need help Googling. The most mild versions, they're kind of like what I had. Like there's um, <laughs> early yeah. stage though. You know that's the like it doesn't. From what I understand, it doesn't stop. It's it doesn't get better. <clears throat> um, oh my god, I, I don't want to. Oh my god, there's one of the look at that guy's finger. The look thumb. At, I yeah no no the forefinger like 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 this. It's his right hand. Is that the one you're looking at? Oh my yeah. god, it looks it literally looks like the exit wound of a small caliber bullet. It looks like someone shot him with like a 38 or something. His skin is just no, you're torn. definitely not like looking at the those, thumb uh, one. Those fake pussy procedures they do where they invert your dick and scrotum. Like this oh, is those like Those are beautiful. Just, those just are post. beautiful, you bigot. Are they? I I, have, I haven't looked them up. <laughs> a week after Pride Day. Good god. <laughs> so the a week after Pride, you're right. Oh, this is so not I, appropriate. Yeah. I should have waited till July. I don't know what was on my shin that took three months to heal, but the most mild of... I, I wonder what does a, a recluse bite that, that's not crazy look like? I mean, it, it must be this one. The one you linked. Like, that makes sense, right? Yeah. I, the rest expert. of these are bananas. Right? I just have to believe they don't go bananas every time. That... I from what I understand, they go bananas every time unless you go to the doctor. Everyone describes it as like, oh, yeah, it was a little thing. And then the next day it was all it was bad. And then, well, I, I just forgot about it. And then my leg came, was off the next week. It is like like it gets into crazy town eventually, if not treated. It's, it, at least that's been my what I've been told always is because is they, they always stress 
if you get bitten and it starts looking this way, you've got to get to the ER. You've got to get treatment for this because it won't stop until you are dead. Man. These are some of the worst, <laughs> most gruesome images. Like some of them are so, it's like someone took an ice cream scooper to some of these people's forearms and just carved out an entire an entire scoop. Oh my God, that there's like one of the guy's thumb, I, probably what Woody was pointing at. And I think I, I almost feel like I can see, maybe not bone, but like the operating tendon tendon that like is on the back of the thumb. I, I can see some, some interworkings yeah. there. If that guy moved his thumb, you could see it. Oh, no, I can see the bone on this guy's ring finger. There's one of this guy's ring finger, and I can see the bone clear as day. Now, Woody, this should make you feel better. Here's some tips for it. Be aware that it is almost impossible to eliminate recluse spiders from a building once they get established. <laughs> the best you can hope for is a significant reduction in the number of spiders. They're like illegal immigrants. <laughs> you're, not, you're not going to get rid of all of them, but you can try and significantly reduce once it. We, uh, we use check sticky in, traps. Don't check out. <laughs> yeah, use sticky traps for these. Remove bed skirts from your beds. Move Ooh. your bed away from the wall. Uh, remove everything from under the bed so that the only way for the spiders to get up is to crawl up one of the four legs. Oh, terrifying, right? Like, like, like. But I have that kind of paranoia so to the point where, like, I I got rid of bed skirts in adulthood. I was like, won't the little things be able to use that as like a ladder to get to me? Oh, they yes. do apparently. They, they, they do. And of course, I, I've told the story before, before, but when I was like, I don't know how old I was, let's maybe 12 to 14, somewhere in there, the centipede got into my bed and bit me on the stomach in my, in my sleep. And it, and it hurt. Oh, it was horrible. And I am, I am now terrified of them. I got up out of bed and there was a hammer handy in my room. I, I, I had been putting up a picture frame and I went like Planet of the Apes on that thing until it was mush in the carpet. It was, it was traumatic. It was traumatic. My parents come storming into my room because they hear the wham, 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 and like screams, <laughs> like like because I'm in there pounding a centipede into the into mush <laughs> with a goddamn ball peed hammer. Yeah, that was, oh, that was those awful. Those centipedes are unnerving. Ah, oh, they so many legs. Exactly legs. Too many legs. I, I'm on eMedicine Health, and it looks like the majority of brown recluse bites, recluse, I might be saying it wrong, cause little permanent skin damage. Although in some mm -hmm. cases, moderate to severe tissue destruction is is possible. And that was my theory that the ones you see on the internet are the one percent of bananas, and that the uh, filthy few. <laughs> that, but, that's how all of the spider bites, snake bites, diseases. Like, of course, Google Images is going to come up with all the nasty of the nastiest or the nastiest yeah. of the nasty. Yeah. It says here that most households with brown recluses never <laughs> experience a bite and 90 percent of all brown recluse bites heal without severe scarring. And many of them just cause a little red mark that heals without a vent. Mm -hmm. And I guess that correlates with if you're, you know, younger and healthier, not too young, because I just saw a picture of a baby's arm. Pretty much nothing. <laughs> yeah, because Jesus. like some negligent parent didn't get him taken care of. They just carried him away. My shin That's had a. I don't know, like a, a little crater in it, right where the bone is, that was I don't know, like half the diameter of a dime. Where they laid like their that. eggs in you. Have you seen? Uh, <laughs> oh, have the you bot seen? Flies? Oh, the bot flies are nasty. But I was gonna say, have you seen um, the mist? The movie, the mist. Yeah, where it's like coming under the door, and uh, it's it's the one where it's uh, covered to know if I've it's seen a it. father and his son. They, they they they. There's a storm one night. Tree falls over, breaks yeah, the window, this. and the father and son go into town, go into the grocery store to get some basic supplies to patch up the window, and a mist comes in. This thick fog, thick as shit. Like, you can't see anything through it. And then, basically, monsters start coming out of the fog, out of the mist. And at first, no one believes, of course. You know, oh, you saw some monsters, did you? <laughs> I'm going to my car. And then, all of a sudden, a giant, like, scorpion crab comes up and, like, pinches that guy in half or whatever and throws his torso at the window for all to see. And so now they're hiding out. Well, there's a myriad of monsters that come out of the mist. By the way, like spoiler alert, the mist is basically comes along with this interdimensional portal created by the military there. Uh, they accidentally opened a portal to another dimension. And so these interdimensional monsters from a whole other version of this planet or some other planet perhaps even are coming into our world and they are all fucked uh, one of them are these, we're going to watch the scene. We're going to watch the scene because it gives me the shivers. It is awful. I don't remember that scene from the movie. I think I saw it when it first came it's out. It's the How spiders. This? It's the spiders. Oh, seven. Okay. It's the spiders. Now, I remember this movie not being good. 
Uh, I disagree. I, I, I really like this movie. It's got one of the best endings uh, of of any movie. I like movies that are fucking... I want to use the word real, but I, I guess it's, it's hard to say. You know, you know, yeah, that <laughs> seems like a poor descriptor in this circumstance <laughs> as you linked us the giant spider this, clip. This is not a... <laughs> from, this well, is not a... This from another dimension. I gotta sign in to confirm my age. Oh, this is probably really spooky. It's a good <laughs> clip. That's how you know. So this is uh, from Movie Clips, the YouTube channel. Uh, the Mist, five of nine movie clips, spiders. Are we starting uh, at zero? Yes, please. I, I, it, 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 it's captivating. Three, two, one, play. Why is this so quiet? <laughs> they're, they're cutting the black guy out of, uh, out of the web because he's already been taken. Prior to the yeah. show, I watched YouTube videos, and they were plenty loud. This is ruined for our listeners. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is. The black guy has begun gyrating. Right yeah, he's just going, oh, oh. And he's pulling back his shirt to reveal that his skin is, now his skin is erupting, and, a sp and spiders are crawling out. And it is... Now, at this point, Kyle, do you continue to watch your friend burst into spiders, or do you run away? Oh! Look at the big one! <clears throat> <laughs> Look at the big one! Look at the big one! Close your mouth, you fool! That's how they get in! Oh. Well, I'm sure this guy with the revolver will solve all the problems. I think he's that's got, what it was. He's got enough bullets to kill four more. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's he the best miss. part of a, Here's the best part. These, the webs of the interdimensional spiders are not just webs. They're range weapons? They are ranged weapons. I wish they would show like what happens when the web gets on someone. Oh, they're so scary. They're, they're big as fuck. They're crawling everywhere. Like, they're the size of a small dog. Oh, he pulled it. There we go. Look at this. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Oh, melts through. His, it's burning his leg. It just it just peels the flesh off the skin, like down to the bone. Well, that's troublesome. Don't get the web on you. Don't get the web on you. Have they considered leaving? See, all right, so they're in this pharmacy to get medication for someone who's gone into anaphylactic shock, the way I remember it. Uh -huh. That or the guy who has, has, like, caught... No, no, no. It's for someone who, who got burned terribly, and uh, they need pain medication and antibiotics, or the person's going to die. This is like... <laughs> well, they've lost two people trying to save her. This is like a Saving Private Ryan mission. Absolutely. They're all going to die because of the sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the... Oh, not the face! Not the face! I like your joke, Taylor. <laughs> I think Woody would. <laughs> now the guy getting his face burned off with web they don't stop and let two more die for him oh he's he's a lost cause look oh here's the big one. Oh, grandma's got it going on Dude, that's how you handle spiders it, it, in my experience though you have to keep the flame lit i guess it's working she, better the, for her. the grandma just used a can of bug spray with a lighter to burn one of them thank god she didn't use that effective tactic earlier <laughs> oh my god this is my this is my worst nightmare. This is this is as bad mm. as it gets. Oh, it's the daddy. Mm. It's the daddy spider, and it's the size of an ATV. Oh, and this guy didn't count his bullets. He, this... Oh. Eee! You know what, Kyle? I don't want to see this movie at all, and it's not because it's scary. It's because it looks super silly. The Dude, two baddest I... motherfuckers in this party are over sixty. Well. I don't know what to tell you, but I love that. Except movie. my future's think, looking bright. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what. I think you would get into the father and son bonding. And uh -huh. then when you got to the end, and it's got a couple. So I'm probably wrong about this, but the maker of this um, might have been the guy who started off doing Walking Dead, like the first season. I choose and, to uh, and you've got several Walking Dead characters. You've got um, the chick who always had her mouth open. Um, that she's Andrea? Andrea? <laughs> Andrea is oh, that's not a selling point. She's good in this though. She she keeps hmm. that mouth shut because there's spiders. That makes and sense. And there's and then there's the old guy there who like stabbed the spider there at the end. Obviously, he was the guy who was always fixing the the RV up and stuff like that uh, back in The Walking Dead. And uh, when you get to the end, and and this thing is all over, yeah, it, it you don't forget this movie. I've seen it three or four times. I'm a big fan. The Mist. The thing is, you I, are in I, the situation where all the spiders are coming at you, and you have that gun. Mm hmm. Do you continue to try and fight them off in vain, or do you just end it instead of dying at the hands of the spiders? 
Um, I run first and abandon all of those other schmucks. You're cornered. Um, There's nothing you can do. The oh, spiders I the are bullet. surrounded. Oh, I eat the bullet. You eat the bullet? Okay, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No question. No question. I'd be like, glad I saved the hollow point for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Been shooting watt cutters at these spiders all day, but... Oh, trusty Corbon here. He's I try to like myself in a direction that it might hit one of them afterward. You know, sure, like, sure. That's, that, that's like high that. level suicide right there. You're the you're the John Wick of shooting yourself. Like. Yeah. <laughs> but, he had four kills after dying. Pretty collateral. Cool. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think that'll work. But but still, yeah, I absolutely myself with the gun. Absolutely, a hundred times out of a hundred, I do. Um, yeah, I don't want those spiders getting me because those those were not those were interdimensional spiders. They're they're, they're, they're disgusting, terrifying. What Awful. dimension are they from? The sp I don't know. spider dimension. The, s the <laughs> Stephen know. King, the Stephen King dimension. The, the, the man who dreams up nightmares. <laughs>